This is Dr. Emily Park with your next Functional Health Minute. Today, I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about the different types of probiotics that are out there. So the first type is considered more of a traditional probiotic. Um, and those are probiotics that usually have things like lactobacillus and bifidobacteria strains in it. Um, most traditional probiotics on the market are multi-strain, meaning they have multiple strains of lactobacillus or bifidobacteria in them. However, there are some single strain probiotics out there. For example, you can find a probiotic that just has lactobacillus acidophilus in it, for example. So those are more traditional probiotics that are going to go well, honestly, for most people. And you know the way uh, probiotics, traditional probiotics work is they actually help the immune system inside the gut work better. It, they don't seed the gut like you think, because um, most people have that impression like, oh, I'm going to, it's going to like, you know, seed my gut with all these healthy bacteria. And that's kind of actually not how it works. The studies are pretty clear after about um, three days or so, um, the probiotics that you took um, are pretty much out of your system. Uh, but what they do along the way is they create um, a better and more healthy immune system environment in the gut. So that's traditional probiotics. Then there's something called Saccharomyces boulardii, um, which is a more of a healthy yeast um, type of a probiotic. And it's used for many things. Um, uh, when we're doing a yeast overgrowth protocol, um, it can be really helpful because um, it can help balance the yeast and it's also healing to the gut too. There's some data that says that it does help um, you know, with the intestinal lining. Uh, repair the intestinal lining, which is great. And there are some other times we would use Saccharomyces boulardii also. For example, if someone has C. diff, um, an overgrowth of Clostridium difficile, uh, Saccharomyces boulardii um, has been studied and is, is very well known to help um, with C. diff. Even there's, there's even lots of traditional medicine studies on that. Um, so that's Saccharomyces boulardii, so that's more of a healthy yeast. And then there's the category of the um, spore-based spore or soil-based probiotics um, that are uh, totally different um, than traditional probiotics and the um, Saccharomyces boulardii. And how they work is they work more by something called quorum sensing. So they, which is kind of like um, a signal. So when the, the, the spore-based probiotics get into the intestine, it's kind of like a signal, um, especially in the small intestine, kind of saying, um, you know, to the other bacteria that are might be there that are overgrown to almost like push them back into the large intestine to where they belong. And so it does again, create um, a healthy, uh, a healthier immune system environment in the gut, but it's in, it's in a slightly different way than your traditional probiotic. So those are like the three main categories of probiotics. Um, and the, you know, there's different reasons to prescribe each of them. Um, like I mentioned, the Saccharomyces boulardii yeast and Clostridia are probably the top two reasons. Um, the traditional probiotics go well for most people um, and are part of you know, most gut healing protocols that we do. And, and then the soil-based uh, or spore-based probiotics are usually a part of a SIBO treatment protocol because they do go well um, for most patients that have SIBO. And because of that quorum sensing thing, sensing thing I was just mentioning with it kind of almost signaling to um, you know, uh, push the, the overgrown bacteria back in you know, more closer to the large intestine where it should be instead of you know, being overgrown in the small intestine. So I hope this helps kind of clear up a little bit about the different types of probiotics and um, when you might use each one. Of course, you know, if you want to really get specific, you would see a functional medicine provider and get, you know, a stool study, a SIBO test, an organic acids test, one of the three or two of the three or all three, three, all three of the three, depending on your situation. Um, but if you can't come and see a functional medicine doc and, but you want to experiment with probiotics, um, that's exactly what you do. You, you know, do the one bottle experiment and see, you know, try starting with a traditional probiotic and see how your gut feels. Um, you know, did it improve your diarrhea, your constipation, your bloating, or, you know, did it make it worse? or didn't it make a difference at all. Um, if it's helpful, stay on it. If it's not helpful, I would move on to another category. Then you might try you know, something that has Saccharomyces boulardii in it, or you might try you know, more of a spore-based or soil-based probiotic. So this is Dr. Emily Park with your next Functional Health Minute.